expectations within probably the month, within a month. So. You know, she touched on that 40% free and reduce that uh, all of our elementaries except for one. It's interesting, you know, when you look at that resolution, um, that resolution probably is not geared towards districts with 40% free and reduce. That number is probably likely 60% or higher. So, you know, when you look across the state of Wisconsin, there are a lot of districts with even higher free and reduce rates of tolerance. And actually, we're, we're, we're not terrible here. Um, but. You know, so that's why it's important for us to kind of keep an eye on where that legislation is going because we still have needs here uh, at 40 percent. So. Then the final column there that's in uh, gray is basically things that we've already committed to uh, reducing. And you can go through those lists there and take a look at them. I'm not going to repeat them again. But I will come back down to the uh, reading at the middle school and uh, Title I, or the remedial changes here in district. And you can see the values of those uh, positions, the approximate values. If we choose to make changes to those and keep those numbers, regardless of how it shakes out, if we don't reduce those, that doesn't mean we still don't have the problem. It just means that money has to come from somewhere else in order to get our budget in line. And again, just a reminder that I do have the jobs bill valued here at $570,000. Um, and just keep in mind that we had that for one year. The next year, we'll still have to find the money for those positions that we save for one year. And that's the funding clip you really try to avoid. But um, I don't know that education has bottomed out. You would like to think it's going to bottom out soon. Uh, it took, it's taken about three years. If you can call this a bottom in our economy, you hope you think it is, and if we're anything like the rest of the economy, um, if this is our start, maybe two or three years, we will finally bottom out where we can start building forward again, but we're still going backwards. And until we hit the bottom and start going forward, it, it, there will be uh, issues. So if we go back up to that top portion of it, um, and again, I, I use these very loosely, and, and I wouldn't put any uh, significance to the numbers out there. They're just starting points for us. We will come back in February and give you a little bit closer update. So if you're seeing those numbers, in particular the net reductions needed at $100, you see 1.3. Again, that's based off of percentages. I would trend that lower, possibly lower than a million. And then that uh, uh, reductions of the 2011-2012 the with a zero, I would trend that probably closer to about 1.2 based on some of the things that I've seen here. So um, I'm using very loosely between 1 million and 1.5 million that we ought to prepare for. And that's really all these numbers are doing, are preparing us so that we have kind of a, a, a target to look at when we're looking at bringing eliminations and reductions so that we don't get caught behind, so to speak, the eight ball if something bad comes up, let's say that reduction in revenue limit is even more that we're able to handle whatever comes up so I I think that's about it um, just you know on a side note as I, I, I guess I told staff on this final sheet on the back uh, um, our again revenue limit minus state aid equals property tax another huge factor on here is our increase in equalized values we only saw a quarter percent increase. If we see a zero or another quarter percent and your levy keeps increasing, that means your taxes continue to go up. So we want to pay attention to that. And you could have a, a possibly about a $50 increase in your taxes if we saw a 200 per student increase versus a zero. So those are also considerations that you as a board will have to be looking at too, how this is impacting the taxpayers. So you're balancing the needs of the school and the children also with the community. So. Um, difficult, challenging year. I don't know if you have any questions. Greg, you said earlier that we ranked 31st, 31st lowest mm -hmm. out of about 365 districts. So, Correct. Okay. K through 12. K through 12 K through districts, 12. Yeah. yeah. So that's always, pretty low. <laughs> it's, well, it's always good to keep that in mind. So yeah. we know we're at a point that we, uh, we've, we're pretty trim the way we are right now. Yeah. It, it, you know, and I try to explain this to staff members too, but you have a continuum. Those that don't want to pay any more taxes, and 
those that may feel there's a little bit more room to pay for more taxes and that line moves it, it, it's a fluid line here and you may cut but then at a certain point they're going to start telling us to slow down we value these programs and it, it's finding where that line is that's a real difficult thing for I think school boards and, and the rest of us to try to wallow through so and you know as I shared with you Mr. Gorders going around to all of the schools and presenting information on the budget status and then within a week of his meeting our administrators are meeting with the staff to talk about their ideas of where cuts could come and I attended the middle school meeting which was held tonight and um, they had a list of probably 20 um, things that they felt where they you know cuts could be made unfortunately they're I mean every little piece helps that's for certain but when you put all of it together, as you look at all the little things that they're making suggestions on, it changes the entire school. I mean, Toma Middle School, the way it currently runs with the programs and the opportunities that are available, it's not going to look that way. You know, if, if there are 18 you know, ideas on what to cut, whether it's you know, extracurricular opportunities, the late bus, the wind program, um, you know areas that do impact students mm -hmm. and that's hard to see when you when you really do um, see the impact that it potentially has on our students mm -hmm. um, and yet you know we've got to make some decisions um, and we're going to have to make some cuts but um, we anticipate that what we bring to you as the final recommendation from the administration that that will then um, hopefully be reported in the Toma Journal and we'll get that out to the community so that we can receive feedback um, from people on um, if the, they believe those are the appropriate priorities as well and I do think we need that uh, feedback from members of our community so that we ensure that we are making decisions that they can support as well. We really appreciate you keeping us as much up to, up to speed on everything that's out there that you can. And I, I know I appreciate this budget calendar that you've come up with. I think that's really good, the, getting the input from the administrators, the staff, everyone, and then having it ready to take to the public and, and really hash around a little bit. So, um, Just a reminder, you may have to set a special board meeting if I didn't say that at the beginning of March to get started on this. The unfortunate thing when you look at that um, calendar, um, Mr. Gorder does a wonderful job in keeping on top of things, mm -hmm. um, seeing where we need to be. He doesn't get much break from work. When you look from from January 6th, he's already started, you know, to be concerned. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? We have to look at these things, and you'll notice that that goes really all the way to October. So he gets right. a little window of. Whew, before he begins <laughs> work. <laughs> and I feel bad for him for that, but yeah. he, he does a great job, so. Yeah. And we know that. Some sick way, I kind of enjoy it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it's your job, I'm glad. Yeah, and, and we're <laughs> glad you do. <laughs> That's right. I don't enjoy the impact, but working with the numbers is a challenge. Well, thank you, Mr. Gorder, very much for the update. Keep pondering and, and going after it every every meeting we have for a long time now. It looks like so. Um, okay. Any other comments or questions? 